The next thing I want to show you is uh, what's called lead short codes. Now remember, all of these things here, lead groups, lead short codes, thrive boxes, they're, they're just ways of targeting different kinds of uh, opt-in forms. So in the case of lead short codes, essentially what they are is content upgrades. So if you're an Authority Hacker Pro member, you'll be probably, or at least I hope you'd be quite familiar with um, content upgrades because we have an entire blueprint dedicated to it. But if you're not, essentially what they are is a way to offer some additional content within a blog post. And in order to get that additional content, you have to enter your email. So I'll just show you a quick example from Authority Hacker, actually. This is our on-page SEO checklist. Um, and if you want to find our content upgrade, you can, let me just scroll to the bottom. This is a massive post. <laughs> There's quite a lot of comments in as well. Yeah, just, just at the end. So imagine you've read a whole huge article about uh, doing an on-page on -page SEO, everything you need to do. You get to the end and here's this offer for a on page checklist. So you're like, oh, that'd be quite useful. Click on it and then you can enter your email here and that will sign you up for our list and also send you out uh, our on page checklist. Now, what I actually recommend is when you're to, to do content upgrades properly, do them as you go. So as you're creating content, you should think about what the content upgrade for that piece would be. Now you don't have, to, if you're doing a lot of content, it might not be so worthwhile. Um, I tend to find it works better on, on larger posts. Um, and it's a way to get sort of super specific because you know anyone who's read this far down the article is definitely gonna be interested in on-page SEO. Um, it's specific to the article, specific to the post, and it's a, a way to get a, a huge amount of opt-ins actually. And if we look, this is the Authority Hacker Thrive Leads. If we look, this on-page SEO checklist one has actually got 7.66%, which is which is pretty good. And remember, that's in addition to the regular pop-ups which appear on that page. So in addition to the normal opt-in rate of, I don't know, whatever it is, um, we're getting 7.66% 7, 7 of all people who have ever read this post have opted in for that. And that's pretty pretty big. That's a hu uh, very good way to skyrocket your list actually, and get a lot of additional traffic. And the, the checklist wasn't difficult to create. It's just a, a summary essentially of all the points we've we've covered in the blog post, uh, but created in a nice little PDF format in in as a list. Um, so again, the beauty of content upgrades are they work in addition to your regular. Uh, opt-in forms and, and, and pop-ups. And while we're here, I actually just want to point out something I, I noticed. Um, normally I have a, as I said before, I have a, a 1080p monitor. So this, this looks very different, but when you shrink it down, the, uh, the formatting that they, they, they have, like the spacing is terrible. We can't even read that yet. Yeah, there's a huge space there. So definitely a, a big minus point on, on Thrive's Thrive's behalf there. Uh, but as I said, this looks absolutely fine when you're in a, a higher resolution monitor as, as I guess most, most people would be. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to actually create uh, a content upgrade. Uh, it's quite a simple process, similar to creating a, an opt-in form. So let's go back to health ambition here and you can actually see we, don't, we haven't really used content upgrades that much. Um, and we haven't really used it at all, to be honest. Um, so let's just create uh, a new one. Again, um, give it a name. I'm just gonna call it test for the purpose of this exercise. Um, and then that's actually created the short code, right? Um, and in, fu in the future, we're gonna be pasting this code here um, into our content wherever we want it to appear. Um, but first we actually have to go and create the form um, and design it. So let's go into edit here and we'll have to give it a, to create a new form and give it a name in a second. Oh, here we go. And it works very, very much the same way as, um, as before with uh, the, the content builder and the templates and, and all that. So it, it should be very familiar to you. Um, and you have a, there's a full range of, of uh, templates here to, to choose from. 
in this case, I actually prefer having multi-step templates. Um, we found on Authority Hacker, certainly those, those tend to convert quite a bit better. Um, I think because mostly because people think they can just press the button and download it rather than, um, you know, seeing their email, seeing that they have to enter the email. So there's a bit of kind of the enter, they commit to a certain extent and then um, they're keen to follow through, if that makes sense. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to choose this one here, which is 51. Um, and this is actually, if we go back to the authority hacker one, this is actually what we based this on. We've, we've designed this ourselves. Um, again, feel free to copy the, the design. This, uh, outline seems to work quite well for us. Um, so yeah, I mean, you have your, you have your design here and this is what's going to appear on the page. Um, and you can edit this in, in any way you want. You can, uh, you know, uh, you have the full range of the editor at your disposal. You can really do what whatever you want, change any of the colors, move things around. Um, you can change any of the text, the, the same as before. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to show you all that stuff again. So let's just use a template as it is. Now, the key difference here, um, because this is a multi-step form, is at the bottom here we have this two two different states so the default state is what people will see initially and then after clicking this button state one is what they will see so when they click that um, they will see this sign sign up below to access your your free product and you can see back here when you click it it's going to come up in a little sort of window like this and we, we've customized all these things, but, and, and you can, you can too. Um, it's, it's very, very straightforward to do all that stuff. Um, and do, don't forget as well that you have to come to this, this state one in order to connect um, with a service and you can connect uh, using the API connection as I showed you before um, to your, to your autoresponder. Um, so let's just go do that now. And I want to show you one key difference. Um, so here, what we do is we use something called asset delivery in order to deliver the actual lead magnet uh, when we're when we're doing or sorry, in order to deliver the, the PDF or the document or the content upgrade. Um, and I'll show you um, how to do that in the asset delivery sections, so a whole section of this review about about that. So just bear that in mind, that's that's how we use it. If you don't want to use that, you can still connect it to your autoresponder and deliver it um, that way, so so that's fine. So let's just save that for now. Uh, and make sure this is saved here. Okay, great. Now, if we go back here, um, and again, um, A-B testing is available here, but I, I wouldn't recommend you do that because content upgrades don't seem to have that uh, that many conversions, unless you have a really well-performing piece of content. So, you know, to get 100 conversions, is it, it'll take a while, usually. So um, if you have a, what we actually do, if, if, when we have a very well, a uh, piece of content that's doing very well, we we use that has like a big spike in traffic or uh, something like that. We use that as an opportunity to A/B test our form design, and then we use that in whichever one wins or whatever learnings we have. We use that in future future versions. Um, so yeah, just just bear that in mind. Now what you want to do is you want to copy this uh, short code right here. Um, it's also it's also available in the the main sort of dashboard under the lead short codes. I think there's a copy button there as well. Um, so let's just wait till that loads, and yeah, uh, you could just copy it directly from here. Now, it's just a simple short code. It works like any other short code in WordPress. You just paste it into your content, and and it's going to display. Uh, so let's just take a example this is health ambition um, just an article we we posted recently um, and what I'm gonna do is uh, this is thrive content builder we're using within within WordPress so this is this you can see it's the same designs in Thrive leads but it's a separate 
plugin. So you, you won't get this by default when you're in, in your blog post, when you're um, by Thrive, Thrive Leads, you have to, have to buy this separately. Um, but it's, it's just a way we use to manage content. And again, Gail's done a pretty in-depth review um, of it all. So if, you're, if you are using Thrive Content Builder, what you wanna do is you wanna put some WordPress content um, and that's just a way to input anything which your WordPress theme um, would would usually use, you know, short code or something like that. So we can just paste in the short code here, save it. And if I save this, then if I load the page after it's finished saving, it should. Yep, it should appear just in the second paragraph. Yeah, you can see it worked there. And yeah, that's your that's your content upgrade inserted. If you're not using Thrive Themes um, or Thrive Content Builders rather, then you can just you know edit uh, just enter the shortcode anywhere in the WordPress um, edit post uh, text field. So that would be you know here. Where you normally type your norm, normally type your article, so it's it's quite flexible. You can use it, you can use it anywhere. Now the last part of the lead shortcodes that I want to show you is the content locking option. Now this slider here, and again the uh, thrive formatting is a bit a bit off here. If I just expand that, you'll know, see the content locking. So I can turn this on. And what that does is it changes the um, shortcode slightly. So let me just uh, copy and let me paste that in a notepad to show you what it looks like. Um, so basically any content within here is going to be hidden and it's going to be revealed. Uh, you're going to need to basically enter your email to, to reveal it using the same form as we already created. Um, I don't actually recommend you do this. It, it, there was a time not too long ago it was quite popular, but consistently what we found is that people tend to enter fake email addresses here because they get the they can see the content immediately, and it just yeah it, it just so many people upwards of half of the people enter fake email addresses in many many cases. So yeah, it's it's a nice feature that they've they've got it there, but I would recommend uh avoiding that 